there's a high stakes contest happening right now here in Hawaii, and if someone wins, well, we all win. KITV4's Cam Turan shows us some of the world's top scientists are competing to find a better way to measure acid levels in our oceans. It's all new at six. We don't have the very basic tools that we need to measure pH, right? One of the one of the most critical variables, measurements of ocean acidification. That's where the Wendy Schmidt Ocean Health X Prize competition comes in. The goal is to create a pH sensor that's both affordable and can go to the extreme depths of the ocean. Out of the 27 teams who started the journey, only five made it to the last leg of the contest in Hawaii. The teams will board the Kilo Moana to put the sensors to the deep water test. We're going to sail north uh, about 100 miles off of Hawaii in order to send, send these uh, sensors down, these entries down up to 3,000 meters, about 10,000 feet deep. All five sensors will be attached to this device called a rosette. This will go into the ocean, allowing those sensors to take pH samples at different levels of the ocean. AMB sensors from Cambridge, England, says the deep ocean water test is a very challenging one due to the increased pressure on the device the deeper you go. We developed the original sensor just, just so you can place it in and take some data and get accuracy measurements. But now to take it to higher pressures, that's going to be the real, the real challenge of actually ensuring that it doesn't collapse, ensuring the batteries are safe. The team with the surviving sensor will win the $2 million prize, but to some of these scientists, the prize is more than just the money. The hard work that we put in will be used by the oceanographic community so we can learn things about the ocean and you know, try to you know, come up with mitigation strategies and you know, how to, you know, how to combat ocean acidification. Cam Tran, KITV4 News. And it is such an important issue, ocean acidification. The five teams left Honolulu today. They'll be at sea for about a week conducting their test. The winning team will be named on July 20th.